Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Perry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this seaweed, which was a request. The size when crocheted in 8 ply wool, this one, is 27 centimetres by 24 centimetres, or 10 and a half inches by 9 and a half inches. When crocheted in 4 ply crochet cotton, this smaller one, the size is 18 centimetres by 16 centimetres, or 7 inches by 6 and a quarter inches. Now I've got an 8 ply wool today, which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got a 3 millimetre crochet hook, scissors, and a darning needle to weave in my ends. Now I'll start on this longer branch and I work 70 chain. Now there's my 70 chain. Now the first leaf I work is this one here. I work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, the third from the hook and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work two double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is called a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the two remaining loops. Then we need one more double crochet into that same stitch. One half double crochet into the following stitch and then one single crochet into the next stitch. For a single crochet Put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through both loops. A single crochet is called a double crochet using UK terms. And then we're going to work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. For a slip stitch, put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and we need a slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. And that's the first leaf done. For the second leaf we start with six chain. And we work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Mm -hmm. 
and then one single crochet into that last chain. And then we work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. So a slip stitch into each of the next five. For the third leaf, we start with six chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and a single crochet into our last chain. Then work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For our fourth leaf, we start with eight chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. and two treble into the following stitch. A treble is called a double treble using UK terms. For a treble, we put our yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the next two loops and yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. And we need one more treble into that same stitch. Then work one double crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet into the following stitch. and a single crochet into our last chain. And then work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For the fifth leaf, we start with eight chain. We work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. 
a half double crochet into the following stitch and a single crochet into the last chain. Then we work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For the sixth leaf, we start with 10 chain. We work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Then one treble into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the following stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And a single crochet into the last chain. And then work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For the seventh leaf, we start with ten chain. We work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One treble into each of the next three chain One double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the following stitch, and a single crochet into our last chain, and work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For the eighth leaf, we start with ten chain. We work two treble in the fourth chain from the hook. One treble into each of the next three stitches.
one double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the following stitch, and one single crochet into our last chain, and then work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For the ninth leaf, we start with 10 chain, We work two treble into the fourth chain from the hook. One treble into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch, and a single crochet into our last chain, and then we work one slip stitch into each of our remaining chain. I'm going to use some seaweed on a cushion with some of my fish, either the goldfish or the clownfish. Now once we get to the bottom, we start working our slip stitch in the back loop of our chain. So we work one slip stitch into the back loop of the first 14 chain, just in that back loop there.
Now we're going to start on this second branch, the small branch. We start with 36 chain. For our first leaf, this one here, we work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch. A single crochet into the next one and then one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. For the second leaf we start with six chain we work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a single crochet into the last chain. And then we work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches of the original chain. For the third leaf, we start with 8 chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch and a single crochet into the last chain and then work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For our fourth leaf, we start with 8 chain. We work 
one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch. And a single crochet into the last one. And then work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches on our original chain. For the fifth leaf, we start with eight chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the next one and a single crochet into our last stitch and then we work one slip stitch into each stitch down to the join Now we start working up the other side of our main branch. So we work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each stitch up to just before this first leaf. So probably two stitches back from it. So a slip stitch into the back loop only of each stitch. I just like to have these leaves a little bit uneven so not straight across from each other. So for the first leaf we start with 10 chain
we work two treble into the fourth chain from the hook. One treble into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch, and a single crochet into the last chain, and then work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next five stitches on the original chain. For the second loop, we work 10 chain We work two treble in the fourth chain from the hook. One treble into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch, and a single crochet into the last one, and then work one slip stitch into each of the next five of the original chain, but only into the back loop. For the third leaf, we start with 10 chain. We work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One treble into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the following stitch, and a single crochet into the last stitch.
and then we work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next five stitches of our original chain. For the fourth leaf, we start with 10 chain. We work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One treble into each of the next three stitches one double crochet into the next stitch a half double crochet into the following stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch and then we work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of our next five original chain For our fifth leaf, we start with eight chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into our next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch. and a single crochet into the last stitch and then work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next five stitches on the original chain For the sixth leaf, we start with eight chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch one double crochet into the next stitch a half double crochet into the following stitch 
and a single crochet into the last one and then work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next five stitches of the original chain. For the seventh leaf, we start with six chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and a single crochet into the last stitch. And then we work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of our next five stitches on the original chain. For the eighth leaf, we start with six chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and a single crochet into the last one. And then we work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next four stitches on our original chain. And for our last leaf, we start with six chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Two double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the next one, a single crochet into the last one, and then slip stitch into the original chain and fasten off. And that's our main branch finished. For this second side of our small branch, we join our yarn just on our main branch at the bottom of the small branch. and work one slip stitch into the back loop only of the next five stitches.
and we'll start on this leaf here. For the first leaf we start with 8 chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next one. A half double crochet into the following stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch. And then we work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each stitch up to just before our next leaf on the other side. For the second leaf we start with 8 chain We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch. And then work one slip stitch into each stitch of our next five stitches in the back loop only. For the third leaf we start with 8 chain, we work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook, a double crochet into the next stitch, two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into our next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch and a single crochet into the last one. And then work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of our next five original chain.
to our fourth leaf. We start with eight chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. A double crochet into the next stitch. And two treble into the following stitch. Work one double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch. And a single crochet into the last stitch. And then work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of our next four stitches on the original chain for the fifth leaf we work six chain We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a single crochet into the last stitch. Then work one slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. For our last leaf we start with six chain we work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook one double crochet into each of the next two stitches A single crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch into our original chain and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll flatten it out a bit and I'll be back to show you the finished seaweed. And there's a the finished seaweed. I'm also planning on using the seaweed and some fish on a cushion. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.